a new episode of MT5. Today with the second game of the year, Gryffindor vs. Slytherin. Enjoy! It's Marcel again and I laid out the board again, the game mat with the players. This time with another team, Gryffindor and Slytherin, which was already in the first video. The Gryffindor team is not yet completely painted, but I think it's okay for the video, but nonetheless I want to apologize. But I thought it would be nice if I could bring you another team and I'm on my way to get them painted and I think it will be okay for the video. Again, it's just zero gallon cost teams, so only the core box players with a Furman fan team and the zero galleon 50 tactical cards. For the Gryffindor team, there will of course Harry be playing as the Seeker and we are using the markers for the place again to remind you the orange ones are the chasers, the black ones are the beaters, the white ones are the two keepers and in the bottom the purple one are the seekers. First we will decide which team will get the bottle at the start. We roll the die, bottle for Gryffindor, opportunity for Slytherin and it's Gryffindor's bottle. Now we reveal the first three cards of the snitch deck and we will see if one of the seekers already glimpses the snitch. Yes, because Gryffindor is the attacking team, Harry will do a glimpse action and the snitch already advances two spaces and Harry can use his ability to look at the next three cards which doesn't really matter because all of them will be revealed. Now both coach draw five tactical cards and the kickoff begins. Gryffindor's Bludger. Slytherin's Bludger. The attacking team shifts two players. Defending team shifts one player. Attacking team shifts one player. Defending team shifts two players. Both coaches decide which tactical card to use for the pitch field actions. Both coaches chose a card. Coaches think about intrepid moves. Slytherin coach plays a intrepid move. It's Gryffindor's first action block. The Gryffindor beater tries to hit the Slytherin keeper with a bloodshot. One success. Maneuver reaction. Beat is not successful. Bloodshot ends there. The Slytherin beater tries the same. Rerolls for the trade. Three successes. Maneuver reaction. Three opportunities. Beat not successful. Bloodshot ends there. Gryffindor's second action block. Perform a pass. Successful, gain a tempo point, break the tempo which is free because of the trade, to shift, Slytherin's second action block, a move with the chaser and because of the intrepid move a free steal, three successes. Reaction with the steel value. Use the fervent fan to reroll one. Three opportunities, steel not successful. It's Gryffindor's third action block. Move into the scoring area. Slytherin's third action block. 
the keeper tries to steal. Two successes. Fervent Fan doesn't kick the Gryffindor's player off the board because he only needs to reroll one. Four successes. Reaction with the steal value. One opportunity, steal is successful. Shifts out of the way. Slytherin gains one tempo point. Keepers kick off. Slytherin shifts the beater. Gryffindor shifts a chaser. And free pass. All action blocks are resolved. Bloodshot movement. Gryffindor is the defending team. Attacks the Slytherin chaser. Maneuver reaction. Is hit. Gets a stun token. Slytherin's bloodshot. Attacks the beater. Defense reaction. Successful. Slytherin player takes a snitch card. As card in play. Reveal card. Gryffindor takes a snitch card as card in play. Reveal card. Technical cards are discarded. Both coaches decide which technical card to use. Both players decided on their tactical cards for the pitch field actions. Slytherin player plays an intrepid move. Gryffindor plays an intrepid move. Slytherin's first action block. First action move. Two zones because of the trade. Second action pass. Successful. Gains a tempo point, spends it to shift or break the tempo. Gryffindor's first action block. Trying to beat the chaser in the scoring area. Three successes. Maneuver reaction. No opportunities. Beat is successful. Gains a tempo point. Can't break the tempo because of the FAQ, because it's the player with the Quaffle. Gains a stun token. Quaffle goes loose here. Player shifts towards there. Latcha goes there. Slytherin's second action block. Performs recover with the chaser. And picks up the Quaffle. Gryffindor beta moves as first action, beats as his second action. One success. Maneuver reaction. No opportunity. Player is hit. Gets a stun token back. Loses the Quaffle there. Lacha goes there. Gryffindor gains a tempo point. Can't break the tempo. Action block ends. No free pass for the intrepid move. Slytherin's third action block is empty. Gryffindor's third action block is empty as well, but they get the free pass. Pick up the quaffle. Pass. All action blocks are completed. Bloodshot movement. Slytherin is the defending team. Try to hit the chaser with the coffin. Maneuver reaction. Successful. Gryffindor Bloodshot tries to hit the already sunk player. Maneuver reaction. Successful. 
Take the card are discarded. Gryffindor chooses a snitch card. Gets the fast impulse, accelerate and plus black die. Four. Black dice token. Use Harry's trade to look at the next three cards. Choose one to reveal. Slytherin picks a card. Only get the rushed impulse, obstruct. Two. Reveal a card. And the coaches decide the next tactical cards. Both coaches decided on a card. Gryffindor's first action block. Move and a second action shoot. Chaser's goal hop. Keeper's goal hop. No additional success. Shoot action. One success. Catch. No opportunity. Shoot is successful. Gains a tempo token, gets a snitch card, looks at the net next three, reveals a golden snitch, glimpse action, three. Looks at the next three, reveals, points, and a snitch card. Can use the perfect impulse, which is abstract two, which you can perform, accelerate three, and glimpse. Glimpse three. Look at the next three cards. Reveal, drifts out of the scoring area, keeper gets the quaffle, first kick off, Slytherin beta moves, Gryffindor beta moves, we pass. Slytherin's first action block, they beat, four successes, maneuver reaction, no opportunity, Chaser is hit, gains a stun token, and a tempo point for Slytherin. Slytherin is Bludger there. Gryffindor's second action block. Beat against the already stunned player. No success. It fails. Second Bludger there as well. Slytherin's second action block. Pass. Successful, gains a tempo point and breaks the tempo to move into the scoring area. Gryffindor's and Slytherin's third action blocks are both empty. Bloodshot movement. Gryffindor is the defending team on the already stunned player. Maneuver reaction. One, minus one because of the stun token, gets another stun token and is at a disadvantage. Slytherin's Bloodshot on the already stunned Chaser. Maneuver reaction. Three opportunities, minus one is two, not, not hit. Slytherin takes the Snitch card, his card in play. Takes the Slipstream. Gryffindor, uh, reveal. Gryffindor takes a card. Looks at the next three. Reveals. Tactical cards are discarded. Slytherin needs to do a hand swap. Draws five cards. 
Gryffindor does a free action with the keeper and tries to steal. No successes. Gets a tempo point. Removes a stun token. No more players are stunned for Gryffindor. And removes the lock from the fan. Fans are removed from the board. Coaches choose their tactical card the pitch field actions. Both coaches chose their tactical card. Slytherin plays an intricate move. Plays another intricate move. And intricate move allows a free move for the beater to a zone with a bloodshot. Slytherin's first action block. First action, beat with the keeper. Slytherin Seeker chooses his trade ability to make the chaser in the scoring area two players for the purpose of disadvantage. So the keeper is at a disadvantage. Reroll for the trade, two successes. Maneuver reaction, no opportunities. Keeper is hit, gains a stun token. Slytherin gains a tempo point, which they spend to shift their B2. And there, and as the second action, shoot. Chaser aims at 1, keeper defends 2. One additional success. Two successes. Keeper is at a disadvantage and stunned. Needs four opportunities and only gets three. Go for Slytherin. Gains a tempo point and ten points. Choose a snitch card to use with their slip streaming. Accelerate three and upwind. First, obstruct two for the slipstream. Trade three. Upwind. Three card. Slipstream again. Keeper gets the Quaffin. Chaser shifts out. Gryffindor shifts the Chaser. Slytherin shifts the Beetle. Three pass. First action block. Can't pass with there because of the intricate move. Simply move. This second action block. Move a beater. Gryffindor's second action block. Still can't pass. So moves into the scoring area with the first action and shoots with the second. Two, keeper defense, two, no success. Use the uncelebrated goal, celebrate the goal to reroll one, two successes. Catch reaction, check the uncelebrated goal to reroll one. No opportunities, go for to Gryffindor. Gains a tempo point, 10 points, a snitch card. Gets accelerate plus 2, minus orange dice, upwind. 3 plus 2 is 5. Minus orange. Upwind, the next cards, gets the Quaffle, Chaser shifts out, Chaser shifts, Chaser shifts, free pass, Considerance third action blocks are both empty, movement, Gryffindor's the defending team, attacks the player with the Quaffle, Maneuver reaction. Successful. Not hit. Surveillance Bloodshot attacks the Gryffindor's chaser. 
the reaction. Uh, celebrates a goal. Goal one. And not hit. Sticky cards are discarded. Gryffindor needs to do a hand swap. As a free pass action. Successful. The tempo point, but breaks the tempo to move into the scoring area. It's a tempo for the hand swap. The slip streaming card. This card in play. Reveal. A stun token from the chaser in the scoring area and the lock from the seeker in the firm fang. Coaches choose their tactical card for the pitch field action. Place an intrepid move. Intrepid move. Murren's first action block. They performs a shoot. Frame set two. Keeper defense three. One additional success. Roll for shoot. One success. One is two. Ravenclaw Seeker uses his ability. The chase had two miniatures for disadvantage. The Gryffindor Keeper is at a disadvantage and stunned. Tries to catch. Uses his fervent fan to reroll one. Only two. Go for Slytherin. Tempo point. Ten points. Cut. To use for the slipstreaming. Take Dutch three minus black dice upward. Let's do accelerate two for the slipstream. Dutch three. Minus black token and upward. Discarded. Reveal. Gold snitch. Glimpse action with Slither and Seeker. Two. It's the quaffle. Shift out. Gryffindor beta shifts. Meter shifts. Free pass. Pass of the paid reaction. Prince Seeker in the front gets a Lila plus die token. First action block. Successful. Coffee goes loose here. Prince second action block. Pass. Successful, gain a tempo point, break the tempo to move into the scoring area. Second action, aim set three, keep a defense three, no additional success. For shoot, celebrate a goal to reroll one die, five successes, three action. Only three opportunities. Minus one for the stun token. Gives a purple dice token to the keeper. For the intrepid move. Slytherin gets a tempo point and ten points. A snitch card. Give the coffin. Chaser shifts out. Gryffindor's chaser shifts. The repeater shifts. Second action block, pass. Successful. Tempo point. Breaks the tempo. It's free with the trade. To shift. The third action block is empty. Third action block, shoot. The purple die token. Aims at two. Keeper aims at one. One additional success. Roll.
3 plus 1 is 4. Only 3. The temp also gets a snitch card. Next, 3. The golden snitch, so a glimpse action. 1. It's a goal to reroll 1. Two. Looks at the next three. This one gains a snitch card for the goal. Does obstruct, which you can't perform. Accelerate three and a purple plus die token. Accelerate three plus upwind wins the game for Griffin. And that's it for the second game. I hope you had fun watching. I surely had a lot of fun playing it and even editing, is, even though it was a lot of work again. So I'm interested in what you liked and what I could do better. I uh, did some mistakes while playing, some are catched in the editing, but surely there are others and those are really good to point out in the comments as well. So if um, yeah, other players uh, look at it, and uh, are unsure about the rules, they can uh, read in the comments whether it was correct or not. And since I got the basic rules covered and uh, two gameplay videos, I would love to hear what else you would like to see on my channel. Uh, simply more games or like overuse over the different teams. Yes, it would be great to get some feedback what uh, direction the viewers want this channel to go. And until then, uh, simply enjoy the videos and the game.